Summertime at the Smoothie King Arena in New Orleans just got hotter with Bishop Paul S. Morton. I'm trying to tell somebody tonight, if you want your breakthrough, you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. Bishop T.D. Jakes. When the day of Pentecost was fully come and they were in one place with one accord, suddenly... Bishop Noel Jones. They've laid hands on me all my life. <laughs> Some things you got to fight until you get the victory over. <laughs> uh, Some things you got to wrestle with. <laughs> Bishop Charles Blake. Your future may seem dark. Your present reality may seem dismal and pessimistic. But I want you to know that Jesus arose from the grave and presiding bishop elect joseph walker See, i didn't come for church as usual i didn't come for anybody else i came because i needed the king i need what the king has for me Wait, it doesn't stop there. Also bringing the heat are Bishop-elect Marvin Winans, Bishop Rance Allen, Bishop Kenneth Robinson, Bishop Greg Davis, Pastor Kimberly Ray, Pastor John Gregg. Attendees, you will enjoy the inspirational sounds of Anita Wilson, Leandria Johnson, and the incredible Led Essie. You do not want to miss the special events honoring the founder and leader. Join us for Bishop Paul S. Morton's live recording Monday, July 13th. Attend the White Tie Gala honoring Bishop Paul S. Morton on Tuesday, July 14th during the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship International Conference, July 15th through the 17th at the Smoothie King Arena in New Orleans. Register today at www.fullgospelconference.org. When registering, be sure to take advantage of our school ministry classes. Coming up on Greater Change Ministries. I laid the foundation, now he's building on the foundation. So we're seeing more and more pastors come in now. Wow, how we thank God for full gospel and we're ready to work, we're ready to do this. So it's all in the place. Man. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. We greet you in divine love. I told you a few weeks ago I'm filled with mixed emotions because I am so grateful that God birthed into my spirit the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. It has been an awesome, awesome journey. Today we're going back into this interview and it's very, very important that you hear from me so that you can understand because people want to know how is your successor chosen. I am so proud of Bishop Joseph W. Walker III. This man, many are called, few are chosen. I promise you, he is one of the chosen ones. God showed me years ago that this would be the next presiding bishop of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. We have a bishop's council. They voted. And I'm telling you, he was elected as the new presiding bishop of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. So we're going to talk about that. People have been asking me about my last live recording. Yes, I'm recording my last solo project, but I do want people to understand. I'm not going to stop singing. I'm not going to hang my harp on the willow tree and stop singing. I'm going to use the gifts that God has given to me, but I want to be able to help other artists to take their singing ministry to the next level. Oh, well, let's just go in and let's hear more about this great interview and what God is doing as we continue to change a generation. Be blessed. What's the first thing that catches your imagination when you wake up every morning? What's the first thing that catches your imagination? When you wake up, do you see Jesus and say, I just love you today, Jesus? Or do you wake up thinking about the cares of this world and how I'm going to make ends meet? I'm here to tell you, you got to get off that thorny ground because it's going to choke all the life out of you. forth his hand 
and took it. So, notice he didn't say, oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. There goes the Holy Ghost. There it goes. There it goes. Some of us sitting up in here tonight. There it goes. There it goes. I see God moving over here. There it goes. There it goes. You got to put your handle in the water and take it. And we are back with Bishop Paul S. Morton. You have a reputation. And that's word on the streets that you everything it's integrity, it's excellent, it's order. And that is what I have always experienced with you, Bishop. Bless you. And, and I just can imagine every leader and every pastor can say the same thing. And I can imagine that it was not an easy thing to do to choose a successor. How, how was your successor chosen? Well, I, I believe that it was God. First of all, God showed me clearly, and that's why... I uh, and I appreciate our bishop's council because that's the way that uh, we do our votes. It's not like the world, you know, where everybody votes and then in the end everybody's mad. Right, right. Uh, we have a council of 21 and mm -hmm. they've had the opportunity to vote for the next presiding bishop. Uh, God had already showed me who it was going to be, mm -hmm. but God told me, trust the council. They got to be on one accord. So the council was in prayer and trusting God. So I knew. I knew that they knew God and would listen to God, and they came back with the one that God told me would be the next presiding wow. bishop. Next presiding bishop of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship, the greatest fellowship in the world, Bishop Joseph. Because I believe when you're talking about leading such a great movement that you yourself must be an example of success. Mm -hmm. Bishop Walker, yeah. man of integrity, yes, he is. ministry second to none. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, his ministry reminded me of my New Orleans ministry because Nashville is about the size of New Orleans. It's not what you call a big Atlanta or mm -hmm. New York or mm -hmm. Los Angeles, but to be able to take a city like that. Right. You know the anointing that is on him for leadership, mm -hmm. and that's what I experienced, and God bless me, even in the early days of my ministry, and mm -hmm. I saw that in New Orleans. So I'm really seeing like me all over again. He's, yeah. a, he's a great son. Yes. I am so proud of him. Mm -hmm. And you know, leaders respect successful leaders. That's I believe right. that God bless me as it relates to so many because you know, Full Gospel started at the end of the 20th century, mm -hmm. and it's hard to start a, a new successful movement That's right. in the 21st century, exactly but God right. allowed us to do it, and I'm talking about do it in a big way, because one thing you do have to say about many pastors, ministers, they do have egos, Yes. <laughs> and amen. so to be able to bring pastors together who say, I see what God is doing, I mm -hmm. see what God is doing, mm -hmm. so I know that it was God and that's the kind of relationship that he has with the pastors and mm -hmm. and so that's why we are in good hands in with good Bishop hands. Joseph W. Walker III. It's going to be amazing. This I man blows my mind. He really does. I only have one request of our international presiding bishop because I know I could never do this. Bishop, without one thing I need from you, sir. Are you sure? said to Elijah. Sir, I need a double portion. I will not walk in this unless you give me a double. Because God has promised you your ladder would be greater. We are the generation of your ladder. And the only way it's going to happen, sir, is that you give me a double portion tonight. Oh God, 
the anointing that you have placed upon my life tonight a double double anointing use him Lord lives will be changed people will be delivered people will be set free people will come from around the world because they know that there's an anointing on you hey Jesus I speak it right now oh our best days are ahead of us man of God you rise up with power stand on the word Oh, don't compromise what we believe in in this fellowship. Preach on the power of the Holy Ghost. Let people know they can be saved. They can be healed. They can be delivered. We will win the loss for you. We will follow. I give you my commitment. We give our commitment. Because this don't even belong to us. This is a God thing. Well, come on, people of God, let's praise God in this place. He's innovative. Right. He's innovative, and he, see, he sees past this moment right here and sees he's prophetic. Yes, yes, and he's able to reach the millennials. I yes. think that, that that is so, so key. I laid the foundation, now he's building on the foundation, so we're seeing more and more pastors come in now. Wow, how we thank God for full gospel, and we're ready to work, we're ready to do this. So it's all in the plan. That is incredible. It really is. It and really you just is. know, and it's, what a great thing to know that God had it all planned out yes. before you got here. Yes, and that's, that's what people have to understand uh, you know some people get upset when things don't go their way and mm -hmm. the first one is to preach and say our steps are ordered by God mm -hmm. if our steps are ordered by God they're ordered okay. by God right. our steps are ordered by God in the full right. gospel Baptist Church fellowship and so that's why it's happening like it's happening some people thought that there would be a split but God said no not going to be a split wasn't mm -hmm. even a little really not even a little good splinter yeah <laughs> Absolutely because not. God was in the plan when Amen. you pray, you ask God for direction. Mm -hmm. That's what God does. And That's so right. he's he showed up strong. Yes, strong, strong. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. I'm in pursuit of the glory. I'm in the pursuit of the glory. I'm in pursuit of the glory. Lord, don't let me leave here without the glory. without the glory. Now I heard you just say that this was going to be your last recording. Really? Yes ma'am. My last, my last solo project. I'm talking about okay. with 12 songs. Uh, as okay. I said, I'm really, you know, I'll sing on different people's projects. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, especially new artists, right. helping them just to expose them in that area. Uh, but as, as I said, 12 new songs. And, and uh, you know, I found out in life, I've been out here a long time. It takes even people a long time uh, to get used to a new song. That's the truth. Okay. That's so if truth. I'm 65 now, and if they start getting used to it when I'm 75. <laughs> So, hey, I'm, I'm a, I got my songs. <laughs> yeah, right, good, right. That's the songs they like. Hey, we good. That's and so right. I can help somebody That's with great. another project because, I mean, God has given me some good stuff. So oh, sing that other. I don't want to hear that. Listen. I, I want everybody to sing it with me tonight. If you want them to do it for you tonight.
hard for Bishop to get away from his songs because it's our songs wow. and, and your songs are our experience. And we it's one thing about it is we connect with the experience we had when we heard that song. Wow. And that's what happens. <laughs> and we're just looking forward, looking forward to this this this. I, it's gonna be class. amazing. I tell you, they're working hard on the new project. And what I'm excited about, of course, we're going back to New Orleans where we started. That's where oh, the full wow. gospel Baptist Church Fellowship started. So we're going back. I know we experienced a hurricane years ago, but now we're going back uh, to our home and it is going to be amazing. So what we're doing, because God blessed us after Hurricane Katrina, to be now one church in two states. The mm -hmm. devil thought he was going to mess with us, wipe mm -hmm. us out in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So what God did, he gave us double for our trouble That's right. and That's was right. successful now. Greater St. Stephen in New Orleans and my wife, she is doing an amazing She's job so at Greater St. Stephen. Yes. And of course, in Atlanta, changing a generation with our locations, God is blessing. So we're bringing our two choirs together, Greater St. Oh, Stephen. Wow and changing a generation uh, so it's going to be sweet it's going to be uh, it's going to be amazing it's not going to be like the saints and the falcons yeah <laughs> well uh <laughs> They saved, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to not talk about that conversation. Oh, yeah, I know that. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm oh yeah, no, we 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 bridge the gap. We, yes, uh, yeah. amen. I don't. Yeah. I get, leave that alone. That, leave, that alone. To leave that alone. Leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> to hear from you and Bless to have you. an opportunity to go on this journey with you about your retirement and then you pass in the baton. I, I just can't, I can't express to you how excited we are. Bless you. About the future of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. Bless you. And I'm going to keep on preaching. I'm going to keep on singing. And could I tell some even of my dear friends and pastors, and I know there are some who are older than I am and uh, you know what you doing with time you messing it up for me I, you know <laughs> look I've been out here even though I may be younger than some of you I've been out here a long time so don't put everybody in the same boat and Amen. please don't pressure your leaders I'm doing what God told me to do Amen. and uh, you know everybody has to do what God has told them to do mm. and so this is just this is just me. This is what God told me to do, and I just wanted to go out on top. That's what I love about Michael Jordan. I mean, Michael Jordan could have went on. He could have went on a few more years, but I saw Michael Jordan that day. He made that last shot, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he said, all right, I'm on to something else. It's all right. Let me go on. And, and that's the way to do it. Yes. That's the way to do it. And, I'm, and prayerfully, this move will encourage others to consider it. Yes. Consider the same thing. And it protects your legacy. I, yes. And I think that's important. I see so many ministries come up and I see them die mm -hmm. because it's not that God told us to hold on to it. It's because we want to hold on to it. And that's why I encourage pastors, you've got to get a retirement plan. 
don't just depend upon living, living, living That's until you're true. 90 years old and don't have a retirement plan, something in place so that you can live comfortably. And I decided that, in fact, I had got a retirement plan in my 20s mm. uh, and I saw my children growing and I made up in my mind. I looked at Jasmine. I love Jasmine. That's my oldest daughter. PJ is my only son. Christian is my only uh, baby daughter. Mm -hmm. I looked at my three children and I said, uh-uh, they're not going to be pushing me from house to house. Who's taking daddy this know, week? Right. Yeah, No, you got to have your own plan together. So that's why I encourage you because time moves quickly. It really does because it just seems like 40 years ago wasn't too long ago when they were saying that boy too young for that church. <laughs> but look at me now. I'm, look at this. I'm retired. That's exactly right. <laughs> so that's right. how quick it can happen. It can happen that quick. And succession planning is extremely yes. important. Whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. You got to tell them for yourself. happy for you Bishop. Thank you. I really really am happy for you. I'm happy that you have lived your life and, and it's been in the spotlight and you've, you've really given us something to look up to. Bless you. And bless we you. thank you and God bless you. Well could I just invite everybody to the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship to our international conference. I want to give a personal invitation. I hope that you will come and celebrate my last year as presiding bishop of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. It is going to be July the 15th through the 17th in New Orleans, Louisiana. We're going to be at the Smoothie King Arena. It is going to be major. I know the announcers are going to tell you who's going to be there, but I wanted to give you a personal invitation. In fact, I'd like you to come in early for my last recording. It's going to be on Monday, July the 13th. You need to be there. I decided, I learned from others. I learned from others. I learned from Michael Jackson. I know it's my last recording, but I learned I'm not going to entitle it. This is it. I promise you that. Uh, but I'm just going to sing, and we're going to have a good time. There's a gala on Tuesday night. Come on and join us. Let's just have a great, great time in New Orleans. And just thank you, Jess, for doing this. You're Absolutely. just so special in my life. I love you, really you Bishop, are. so much. And thank you so much. It was indeed an honor. God bless you, everybody. I'm Darlene McCoy, and this has been an incredible time with Bishop Paul S. Morton. Love you. Be my glory, be my glory ever, ever and ever, and ever and ever till my raptured soul find the mark I got a mind resting, and the rest is beyond the river. I got a bow down, bow down. Everybody here today, bow down. If you want the glory, sing. Praise God, praise God. I hope you have been blessed over these past few weeks because I'm just so excited. You know, when you hear from God and your steps are ordered by God, it makes a difference. I'm here to tell you I know what God spoke to me and that's why I know the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship will continue 
to be a success because when you hear from God, he makes the difference. I thank God I'm going to be able, as I told you, to continue to pastor Changing a Generation Atlanta Decatur five more years until I'm 70 years old. I didn't even think I would be pastoring that long, but look what Hurricane Katrina did. God is good. Yes, he is. And of course, with my wife, the love of my life, Pastor D, who's a senior pastor at Greater St. Stephen in New Orleans. I serve as her co-pastor. We pastor together one church in two states. So we're going to continue to serve in these areas. But I just want to let you know, as I close this chapter for the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship, I will always be a part of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. Because when you're in the best, you can't go to something else. And I thank God that we are experiencing the best. May God bless you. May God keep you. This is our prayer as we continue to change a generation of greater change. We heard Bishop Paul S. Morton through the years with songs like Cry Your Last Tear, Don't Do It Without Me, I'm Still Standing, Bow Down, Let It Rain, Something Happens, and many others. Now, this Stella Award and Dove Award winner and Grammy-nominated artist comes with Legacy, his final live recording with Greater Change Mass Choir. Monday, July 13th at Greater St. Stephen in New Orleans. Featured guests Shirley Caesar, Rance Allen, Tasha Cobbs, Zaccardi Cortez, Leandria Johnson, and B.J. Morton. Legacy, the final live recording of Bishop Paul S. Morton with the Greater Change Mass Choir, Monday, July 13th at Greater St. Stephen, 5600 Reed Boulevard in New Orleans, Louisiana. Tickets are on sale now at fullgospelconference.org. Bishop Paul S. Morton is on the move. Join us for one of the following. Thursday, June 25th in Detroit, Michigan at Burnett Inspirational Ministries for the annual rally. Dr. Roland Caldwell is the host. Call 313-898-3356 for more information. Friday, June 26th in Highland Park, Michigan at the Soul Harvest Ministries for the Seed Fellowship Holy Convocation. Bishop Lewis E. Evans is the host. Call 313-869-7685 for more information. Join Dr. Deborah B. Morton for one of the following. Thursday, June 18th in Mobile, Alabama for the Alabama Gold South District Word Explosion Conference at the Christians United Church. Bishop-elect Alfonso and Lady Hires are the hosts. Call 251-476-4345 for more information. Thursday, June 19th in Bessemer, Alabama for the Harvest International Alliance of Ministries Women's Convergence at the First Baptist Church Carver. Bishop Sherman Young is the host. Call 205-426-6956 for more information. Summertime at the Smoothie King Arena in New Orleans just got hotter with Bishop Paul S. Morton, Bishop T.D. Jakes, Bishop Noel Jones, Bishop Charles Blake, and presiding Bishop-elect Joseph Walker, July 15th through the 17th. Wait, it doesn't stop there. Also, bringing the heat are Bishop-elect Marvin Winans, Bishop Rance Allen, Pastor Kimberly Ray. Attendees, you will enjoy the inspirational sounds of Anita Wilson, Leandria Johnson, and many others. You do not want to miss the special events honoring the founder and leader. Join us for Bishop Paul S. Morton's live recording Monday, July 13th. Attend the White Tie Gala honoring Bishop Paul S. Morton on Tuesday, July 14th during the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship International Conference, July 15th through the 17th at the Smoothie King Arena in New Orleans. Register today at www.fullgospelconference.org. When registering, be sure to take advantage of our school ministry classes. Next week on Greater Change Ministries. Take off! I'm talking about thousands and thousands of dollars worth a quarter. Take them because God told me to go on television. Oh, I may have some witnesses here. And then when I had members who found out what I did, they said, we got you, Bishop. We'll be television partners because the purple in me.